Dr. Jennifer Ridley, and I'm going to be discussing your food rotation plan that accompanies your comprehensive food panel. So if you are doing this with your emailed results, the two documents that you will need are food rotation plan and shopping list. If you are doing this with your results booklet, those documents are in the second half of the book. So for most of the time that humans have been on Earth, we have been eating with the seasons and migration patterns. When we eat that way, we have a lot less trouble with food. Part of the reasons we develop so many intolerances are because we eat the same foods over and over and over. So rotation is a model that tries to keep us from eating the same things over and over so that we do not develop new intolerances. So if you'll look at your rotation plan, it'll look something like this right here. Now remember, these are the results for a fake patient, but yours should look very similar to this. And what you're gonna see are four full days worth of menu items for you. So this day, day one, you can see we have everything we need to eat for a day. And you could, if you started this tomorrow, eat any and all of the foods on this page. And then day two, all new foods. Day three, all new foods again. And then day four. So for a lot of people, it can be pretty overwhelming when you first get your results and you see all the things that you should not be eating. So it may be easier to start here. If you did nothing but just eat the foods on these four pages, you would be doing good. Now, there are lots of ways to do rotation to make it easier for your lifestyle. This model where you do a 24 hour period and change pages is one way to do it. But you could also change pages, change food items at say three o'clock in the afternoon. It doesn't have to be a 24 hour clock AM to PM. So for example, if you like to make a large dinner and take leftovers for lunch the next day, that's okay. That just means you change the foods that you're eating at say three o'clock in the afternoon. Or perhaps you like to buy a lot of groceries, eat on that stuff for a week, and then move on to something else. Or you like to make a big pot of something like chili and eat on it for a week. If that fits your lifestyle better than the type of rotation you would do, you would eat all of these foods on this page for the first week. And then you would switch to week two instead of day two, week three instead of day three, so forth and so on. Remember, the goal here is just to get variety in your life and mimic the four seasons. So if you really want to try to eat seasonally, you can do that too. So if you have fruits and vegetables that are seasonal, then you could rotate proteins and grains on a daily basis. So I'm a member of an organic co-op and they bring fruits and vegetables to my door. That means that all summer long, I eat lots of tomatoes because those are in season. So for three months, I eat tomatoes. That means the other nine months out of the year, I don't eat any tomatoes or any tomato products. So that means no pizza, no lasagna, no Bloody Marys, no tomato products for those other nine months because I ate them all summer long. So if you want to do that, you are more than welcome to do it that way and then rotate the other items on your page. The whole idea is just to get variety, okay? This doesn't have to be complicated and you don't have to follow it to the letter of the law. Just do the best you can. This is really the life lesson in all of this. I want you to take this lesson and incorporate more variety forever for your family and your friends. It will keep you from developing more food intolerances later. All right, also to help you here is your shopping list. So the shopping list helps you restock your pantry and it can make those first few shopping trips after you get your results a lot easier. So everything on your list is customized just for you. All right, so if you have any questions, please call the office or email us because we are here to help you make this successful, okay?